All right. Somebody was moving. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> folks, I have seven o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and call to order this April 11, 2023 meeting of the Board of Commissioners of the Town of White Lake. And I would ask, first of all, that you bow your heads for the invocation. Your Lord, we should thank you for giving us the opportunity to be able to gather here this evening to discuss the business of our town. We would ask that you be with us, guide us, and direct us as we attempt to do your will and to do those things that are in the best interest of the citizens of this town. These things we ask in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. The uh, next item is the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone is welcome to join Amen. in. I'd ask Commissioner Evans, if you would, to lead us in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America. To the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. All right. Uh, first items on our agenda are the consent agenda items that are listed as uh, agenda adoption in item A, uh, approval of minutes of our last meetings in. Uh, section B, the March utility releases in 1C, and the uh, March tax releases in 1D. Uh, do any of the commissioners have any questions in regard to any of the matters on the consent agenda, which I'm sure you've had an opportunity to review? If there are no questions on that, I would entertain a motion to approve the to adopt the agenda and approve the consent matters as set forth uh, in the agenda in items 1A, B, C, and D. So moved. Second. Motion second in discussion. Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. No. Aye. All opposed like sign. Item number two is administrative matters. I'll turn it over to Sean uh, and ask him if he would to uh, present the administrative matters that appear in the agenda. Yes, sir. For the first administrative matter is a project update for our White Lake management project. Uh, you'll see in your board packets, uh, starting off here, that um, Diane Lawrenson has provided her monthly report to the board. In this report, she does discuss two topics, the rainfall and lake levels being the first topic, and then the White Lake Monitor Report for 2022 being the second topic. Um, she points out that the total rainfall for in the first quarter of 2023 was 10.4 inches, uh, which was 93% of the long-term average uh, for the region, according to the North Carolina State Climate Office. Uh, although White Lake area is still categorized as abnormally dry and temperatures have been above normal for this period. She does also point out the elevation of the lake is very six inches high to low over this same three month quarter period. And at the end of March, the level is one inch below what it was the same time in 2022. For her White Lake Monitor report in 2022, this report summarizes and synthesizes the data that was collected over the entire year for 2022. Those data collections being rainfall, lake levels, clarity, phytoplankton, uh, abundance, submerged aquatic vegetation abundance, pH and nutrient levels. In a staff update for the uh, lake management, there's two topics I'd like to share with the board tonight. The first one, is, both of these topics are follow-up to the uh, meeting we had last month and uh, some of the direction that staff received from the board at that time uh, through a couple of conversations that took place prior to the board meeting. The first update is in reference to a um, maintenance agreement that is being worked on with the, the uh, town and with North Carolina DEQ. This would do two things. It would help us maintain the Turtle Cove outlet uh, for a better outlet uh, experience overall. And then number two, it would help us uh, upgrade the facilities contained there within at the outlet uh, instead of the sandbags that are currently in place there. Staff is working with North Carolina DQ and, and state parks on this maintenance agreement. Uh, and hopefully we'll have some more information on this moving forward. Uh, we are kind of in that hurry up and wait mode, uh, but it is important to point out to the board that progress is being made there. The second item relates to a, sefic, a second scientific opinion, and that uh, is also making progress. Staff is working uh, hand in hand with North Carolina State Parks on this. It was an action item, if you recall, in the 
uh, lake management uh, plan that was put together by the Lumber River Council of Governments. And in this plan, one of the action items did suggest uh, working closely with state parks to bring in a biologist that was already uh, had an established relationship with, with the different uh, areas located there within North Carolina State Park. So we are working closely with them. The vetting process has taken a little bit longer to produce some uh, potential options for the board to consider on that second opinion, but we are hopeful that, again, we'll have more information in the near future, uh, maybe as soon as next month, uh, on, on a second scientific opinion for the board to consider. Um, having said that, if there are no questions, that's the uh, lake management project update for this month. Moving into the sewer sanitary improvement project, they are uh, all but finished, and I know I'm sounding like a broken record at this point. They've been delayed a little bit by some punch list items and some rain, unexpected rain during paving and unexpected testing issues, but uh, we are finishing the punch list items, and then we will begin the routine closeout uh, documentation that takes place, uh, and that is expected to be done by the end of April. So uh, I say that to say, Phase two is all but over. Phase three is in the works. If you recall, we do have a competitive uh, grant application there, just lacking a couple of points. Uh, staff is working through appropriations process to procure that money. We are also talking with a couple of uh, agencies within DWI uh, at the state to see how we could further improve the application that we uh, have recently submitted. On the third project update, the stormwater management plan, Staff did receive two proposals for, in our request for qualifications that we uh, published. One came from McGill Engineering, one came from Withers Ravenel Engineering. And uh, essentially staff is, is requesting tonight that we move forward. And it's, it's not an item that is an action item per se, but um, staff is gonna request that we move forward with Withers Ravenel on that. They're doing our streetscape master plan. I think it's a, uh, Pretty good opportunity for us to tie in stormwater directly to streetscape uh, and work on beautification, but also work on improving our stormwater infrastructure and reducing some of that runoff that we see, particularly on White Lake Drive from all the impervious surface that we have on White Lake Drive. Um, and there's also some future opportunities there for things like a stormwater uh, retention park and, and just updated concepts that uh, are becoming normal up and down North Carolina's coast as many other towns turn their attention toward stormwater and how to deal with runoff. Uh, so uh, having said that, if there's no uh, disapproval from the board, we will move on with Withers Ravenel and, and present a contract for an action item to uh, actually accept next month in May. Uh, for their specific proposal that uh, ties in the Golden Leaf Grant dollars to the actual plan uh, that, that they will uh, present. Uh, the fourth update there is our Streetscape Master Plan update, and that is uh, continuing along uh, fairly well. The staff did receive some conceptuals, some early conceptuals last week. We have a meeting tomorrow to, to talk about staff input on those conceptuals. We are uh, going to be presenting conceptuals to the public at the Water Festival. In fact, there'll be a booth set up to receive public input both at the Water Festival and then we'll also open up public input uh, online and through uh, uh, digital means as well during that time period. And that public input will run, I think, 30 days or so uh, to, to gather input before we actually finalize a plan uh, in the fall. Having said that, Mayor, those are all the uh, project updates, unless the board has any questions uh, regarding any of those updates. Uh, if we'll, uh, if you'll uh, provide the information in Section B on our water shortage response link. All right. On the uh, water lake water shortage response plan, excuse me, the White Lake water shortage response plan, that's a mouthful. This is a an annual occurrence that takes place, and it's it's a plan that that DQ uh, requires us to provide our customer base with, and uh, we did submit that out as required. Uh, it did go through a public gathering, uh, public input gathering period. Uh, the draft has been available here at Town Hall. 
for customers to view. A notice was also included on customers' water bills, notifying them that the plan was available online and in person. Uh, as of yesterday, we had only received one comment uh, regarding the plan, and the comment, I think, uh, misunderstood what the plan was trying to do. Um, and once we reached out to clarify what the plan actually was, the customer was very happy with the plan. So it is worth noting that we received a comment, albeit it was a comment that was a miscommunication type comment. So with that knowledge, I would uh, ask the board to approve the water shortage response plan as presented in your agenda. Uh, so you have that in your agenda, so you've had an opportunity to review that at this time. Um, based upon staff's recommendation, I would entertain a motion to approve the White Lake water shortage response plan. Motion to approve is presented. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. Uh, all opposed, like sign. Uh, as we always do this time of the year, we have a number of budget ordinance amendments uh, because we are as you are all aware, we operate on a fiscal year basis as all municipalities do in North Carolina, not a calendar year basis. And uh, so at this time, in order to begin our uh, accounting necessary for the closeout of our fiscal year 2022-2023 budget, we need to do uh, a number of amendments to uh, bring in funds that were uh, were not anticipated and to make expenditures that uh, uh, were not anticipated at the time the budget was was done. So at this time, I'll turn it over to Sean and ask him if he would to uh, run through those with us. Yes, sir. These are, I'm just going to run through them and, and ask for uh, adoption after each one. Uh, I would remind the board these this the simplest way to think about this is pitching and catching. We're pitching the expenses, we're catching the revenues to account for the actual um, fiscal uh, use of those dollars. On budget amendment number 2023-08, this uh, is a little bit different than what was in your packet there, but I would just point you to the water department and wastewater department. The, the totals remain the same. Uh, it should be $1,850 received in the water department and $4,850 received in the wastewater department. And what that was was the jetter uh, that we recently sold as surplus was uh, coded to the water department on accident. So it is worth noting in the first one, there was a slight typo in your, in your packet there. But uh, again, the total $6,000. $700 did not change, the expense there being $6,700. These, uh, these funds, excuse me, account for the sale of the uh, 1994 sewer machine, the 1991 Chevy, and the uh, 1500 and the 1998 Ford F-150 that were all declared surplus. Um, if there are no questions, I'd ask that the board uh, approve this budget amendment as presented. Any questions for sale? Not all in favor of approval of the fiscal year budget ordinance amendment number 2023-08 as presented. I'll entertain a motion to that effect. Separate. So move. The motion second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed like sign. Uh, Sean, if you will go to item B. Yes, sir. This is budget amendment number 2023-09. This is in reference to a collision uh, with a police vehicle that uh, took place with a deer. And uh, this is the expense, $2,340. And this is the insurance claim reimbursement, $2,340. Uh, if there are no questions, I'd ask the board to approve this amendment as presented. So moved. Motion to second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. All opposed, like sign. Uh, for budget amendment number 2023-10, this is in reference to a uh, electrical surge we received during a storm at Public Works Building. These are, uh, the, this was the cost to replace the garage doors there that you see. All three motors actually were burnt simultaneously during that storm, but um, we have a claim for $1,090 and an insurance um, reimbursement for $1,090. 
If there are no questions, I'd ask the board to approve this as presented. Entertain a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? Not all in favor, indicate by saying aye. Uh, uh, any opposed, like sign. Item D, uh, budget amendment 2023 11. Yes, sir. This budget amendment is uh, in reference to some donations that were received around Christmas time. They were received both in police and fire. Uh, we, are, we were very appreciative uh, from the donations to the public to allow our police department and fire department to Christmas shop for some kids and provide them uh, with gifts uh, during the holiday season. This is showing that we uh, received $1,050 and that we spent $1,050. If there are no questions, I'd ask the board to preserve it. I uh, approve as presented. We entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve as presented. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? None. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. All opposed aye. like sign. Uh, item E is budget amendment 2023-12. Yes, sir. This is a uh, amendment in reference to an American Rescue Plan grant that we received for our fire department. And this is showing a $50,000 grant that we uh, both received the revenue and then spent the $50,000 on uh, items for the fire department. If there are no questions, I'd ask the board to approve as presented. Motion, second. Second. Any discussion? None. All in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All opposed, like so. Item F is Budget Amendment 2023-13. Yes, sir. This is miscellaneous uh, appropriations. These are all in the general fund, so you'll see several of them there together. But uh, they consist of things like renting the room, uh, cleaning the room, uh, Duke Energy payment for Christmas storms, uh, uh, various different categories there that all touch the the or all touch excuse me the general fund balance. But uh, you'll see that there was four thousand seven hundred eighty nine dollars uh, spent and four thousand seven hundred eighty nine dollars received, which of course uh, offsets. So if there are any questions, uh, if there are no questions, excuse me, I'd ask the board to approve as presented. Your motion. Motion to approve. Motion is second. 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 Any discussion? None. All in favor indicate by saying aye. aye. All opposed, like sign. Next is budget order amendment 2023 14, which is in the water wastewater fund. Yes, sir. Then this is showing $44 uh, received, $44 spent uh, in relation to a settlement uh, through O'Reilly uh, Auto Parks. That was un unexpected. So uh, I think it was over a battery, if memory serves a credit for a battery. Uh, any, if there are any questions, uh, I'd be happy to entertain those. If none, I'd ask the board to approve as presented. Entertain a motion to approve. Motion to approve as presented. Second. Second. Any discussion? None. All in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh, all opposed, like sign. Uh, item four on uh, of a business we have, as usual, the uh, departmental reports uh, from the town administrator, tax collector, post office report, police department, uh, police department fuel report, fire department fuel report, and public works department fuel report. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll be glad to respond to those now. As always, these are available uh, to you and, and to the, the public, of course. Uh, uh, through the town hall here, if we have anyone who wants to review those or has any questions about them. Uh, uh, item B, we haven't uh, received these yet, but I got a free publication copy. Uh, North Carolina Magazine has a really nice cover and an article on, uh, on, on White Lake. Uh, it's uh, both front cover and back cover of North Carolina Magazine. And We'll be getting some of those in uh, through the, the the town, and and hope we'll be able to uh, get those distributed. We uh, we also had uh, received some information from a a travel group that's called uh, Fodors, which is f o d r f o d o r s dot com, and uh, they named White Lake one of the uh, 15 best lake beaches in the United States. And so it's always good to get some positive publicity. We'll have these available for uh, 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 folks here on the board and folks in the town uh, as soon as we get that published. And if any of you want to take a look at those, I have a 
like a pre-publication copy here if y'all would like to take a look at that. Uh, I did want to point out it's not in your agenda. Uh, hopefully as you came in, or if not, as you go out, uh, we've got a, a new logo that has been painted on the uh, William Street water tank. And uh, through Sean's efforts, uh, we, we have a, a maintenance company that does the painting and so forth on that. And we were, through his negotiation skills, we were able to get that done with no cost to the tank. And, uh, and, and I think it, it looks really nice, really stands out. So if you get a chance when you leave from here tonight, take, take a look at it. And I think it's a really nice addition to the town. And just to let you know, although it will be a little while later coming up, uh, there will also be uh, a new painting done on the uh, water tank that's on Highway 701. That had not been done yet, but that'll be uh, forthcoming. Uh, okay. Good job. Uh, it, it, like did, did, did you have you seen it? Yeah, well, freeze good. Uh, that's that's nice not to have to spend tax dollars on it. Well, we can use them on uh, a lot of other things, and it 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 really is colorful. It looks good, and and I think will give a good appearance for folks uh, coming into town. So we were glad we were able to do that. Uh, I forgot to mention at the very first of the meeting, as I usually do, that. Uh, Tim Blunt had contacted us and due to personal reasons was unable to be able to attend the meeting uh, tonight and and we advised him we would share that with the with the board. Uh, uh, he, had, he had advised us that before the start of the meeting. Uh, unless there's anyone else, anything else that anyone has at this point, uh, we are at the open forum uh, section of our meeting. And do keep in mind, once we conclude that, we will be going into closed session. We have a couple of matters to discuss. Uh, and at this time, we're at our open forum. It's three minutes per citizen. If you would uh, uh, state your name and you have three minutes to speak. Put that switch down on the microphone. That should, should be right. Down up. Uh, 132 Johnson. Uh, just real quickly, first of all, I appreciate Commissioner Clifton and Commissioner Suggs listening to uh, my concerns about the street. Uh, the streets are a little dirty, a lot of a lot of trash on them. Kelly's riding a bicycle. Had a couple of people ask us about it. I know the economic viability with owning a street sweeper is probably not a plus for us. The more streets than we do have. But I would like to say that I do know large landscaping companies and perhaps another municipality. We could look at maybe three or four times a year, subbing them out to come sweep the streets. And maybe with the streetscape plan, we can uh, look into that also in regards to it running off a little better. But Kelly's been riding a bicycle a couple of times. There's just a lot of debris, a lot of stuff to slip on. And what I was hoping maybe the board would consider is just looking at that behind the scenes, maybe contracting somebody to come in and hit it, you know, before Water Festival in July and then maybe at the end of the year. That's probably as economically viable as we can be with keeping the streets clean. Uh, I know those machines used 2007s and 9s are fifty to $100,000, and you got maintenance on it, gas, and somebody to operate it. If they know how to operate it, they're going to tear it up. And a new one's one hundred and fifty to 200000 I can't see spending those types of money. It's no more streets that we have that truly need cleaning other than just White Lake Drive. So I just wanted to bring that up, and thank you for everything else. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you Bo. And I... I think you'll find with our new public works director, we're going to be seeing some uh, good good progress in that direction. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your comments. Anyone else? We did just get a new front sweeper in. And part of the what we approved. Yeah, blower attachment. Blower to be able to, we can take care of that. Yeah, uh, we got that. Our actual street sweeper that we had that uh, we had some problems with it, and that was bought used that. Is it Johnson Controls? Is that what it is? Well, and and they went out of business, uh, so you can't can't get it prepared, can't get can't get parts for it. And unfortunately, that that happens sometime. And you're right, you know, uh, new you're talking two hundred two hundred fifty thousand dollars uh, for those. So we're we're looking at seeing whatever what other options we can use. And uh, uh, Clearwater has a small piece of equipment they use on the streets surrounding there and they they do they to their credit they come and do the the town streets when they do 
their sidewalks and all. I mean, they do it in, in that area down there and that, that helps us out. Um, so we, we are working on that to see, see what we can do. Okay, anyone else? If not, we appreciate y'all being here tonight. We have some yes. matters for uh, a closed session. And at this time, I would entertain a motion that we go into closed session pursuant to NCGS 143-318.11A6, dealing with personnel matters, and NCGS 143-318.11A5 with land acquisition. Uh, and at this time, I would entertain a motion that we go into closed session. Motion second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed like sign. All right. We'll be in closed session. Spin. <laughs> you come in, Demo. A uh, water shortage response. Right? Right. Right. It was not. Nah. Should be under the public. I um, saw my first mosquito in night. Yeah. Yeah. LR's so it's there. pretty big. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> he didn't carry me off. Click on this pad right Go to government. You go down the public Pat, if you last see him, if they'll um, step on out, we'll, we'll go ahead and close those doors back. <laughs> And that should, yeah, be, should be listed there with Dan. I can certainly email you a copy. In fact, I can give you a copy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. That's one thing you got to be done. Everything you want to do. And have you rebooted it? <laughs> That's right. Okay.
All right. At this time, I would entertain a motion that I'm sorry, we hooked up and ready to go. I have yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, this time I'd entertain a motion to go out of closed session and return to regular session. So, so second. any discussion, not all in favor indicate by saying aye. Uh, uh, opposed, like sign. We are now out of closed session and back into regular session. And at this time, I would entertain a motion that we approve a uh, a uh, increase in salary with a how would you phrase it? Showing a base rate. Yes, of uh, of for our public works director on uh, Kevin Taylor for the uh, in the amount of seventy thousand dollars. So moved. Second. Motion second. Any discussion? Not all in favor. Indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed. Like sign. Okay. Uh, that's the only thing we had to vote on from closed session. If there is no other business, and I'm not aware of anything else, I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Any discussion? Not all in favor. Indicate by saying aye. Aye. Uh, opposed. Like sign. We stand adjourned. Thank you very much.